The car is garaged. We have a garage in the house, so it is hooked up to a charger overnight. So in the morning, I just come down into the garage, unplug the car. It's overnight had a chance to charge to either 80% or 100% of its battery capacity, which gives me um, a varying range. And I just jump in the car and drive it uh, the way it is now. I, I don't think about the range that much because I've pretty much tested it. The car at a full charge gives you between 80 and 100 miles, which is more than adequate for anything I do during an average day of driving around town. This, this won't solve all your automotive needs. And once if that works for you, the around the town all electric vehicle just makes tremendous sense because th there's absolutely no reason to have on board all the power of an internal combustion engine that really only maxes out on the freeway. Uh, around town, electric propulsion is vastly superior. It's quick, responsive. Now with a combustion engine powered vehicle, so a gasoline vehicle, you can just refuel at the next exit or something like this, fairly easy. So this is why this term range anxiety is fairly new because it's very different with an electric vehicle because there are not that many charging stations around. And also if you find a charging station, it might take hours to actually replenish, uh, recharge your vehicle. So you might not make it within time to your destination. Well, wireless charging is, as the word suggests, again, uh, you charge the vehicle, but you don't have a physical connection between the charging infrastructure and the vehicle. That means um, that you can transmit the power, as we do it here at Stanford University, through a magnetoresonance coupling. That means you have coil in the road surface and a coil in the car, and they oscillate and sync and therefore get the energy across. While the electric car is really super cool and there's no emissions, you, there is an element of range anxiety because you have a limited amount of distance that you can travel, 70 to 120 miles depending on different variables. So when I get in the car, if I know I only have to go 25 miles, I have no range anxiety at all. But if I know I'm over 60 miles, I start to become very aware of all the different components that will affect my range including the heating or the air conditioning, including whether or not I'm listening to the radio, and how fast I go. So you can control how far you go um, by, by being aware of your consumptions and the elements of your consumption. Uh, so Free Juice Bar is a level two charging station. It's a fast charging station. So you can um, charge your car, if it's completely empty, within two and a half to three hours. Most trips in the United States are under 20 miles. 90% of all trips in the United States are under 20 miles. And you can top off your car with the Free Juice Bar. It takes about a half hour. So uh, we, we really love having it there. This one behind us can actually charge two cars at once.